Dungeons and Dragon Ball Z. You know, a, uh, a D&D series about our favourite anime, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I'm, I'm Leo, the uh, DM, and uh, who are you, Dominic? I am Sayer Man. Sayer Man. I also play Namek Person, uh, as well as kind of like everybody else in the world. So what happened in the previous episodes, Dominic? We have a quest to gather, to gather all the um, Dragon Balls to uh, bring back the mountain, don't we? And the two Zeni. And the two Zeni. So yeah, so far we've got uh, two Dragon Balls. Um, the first one we got from um, uh, the, uh, the village that you can't decimated. And oh yeah, that's right. Got the, the Dragon Radar from the Capsule Corp Corporation. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Side yeah. side. That's it, yeah, the, uh, yeah. We've got the Dragon Radar. The second Dragon Ball from uh, the Orc version of uh, Father Christmas. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Father Good Christmas. Old, good old Santa Claus, Father Santa, Winter. Mr. Santa Zog Zog. Zog. <laughs> so, yeah, I suppose we should um, begin. So, we start as we normally do, or Sandman starts as, we norm as he normally does in the, uh, the Hairy Arms Cafe in uh, North City. So here's the map, just for your reference. So yeah, this awesome map which I got from, uh, is it uh, on Reddit, Dragon Ball Z source book or something? Oh, I see, there it is. Yeah. It's a place where not much has really happened in uh, Dragon Ball Z lore, but soon it shall be a great place of wonders and amazingness. What are you doing? So we have two Dragon Ball snails. I'm probably holding one in each hand, staring at them. Soon. <laughs> Need to find more of these. No person. Uh, sh show me the Dragon Radar. Where's the nearest Dragon Ball? As soon as you say that, you look up and you realise that no person isn't there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, I've been talking for hours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to yourself, but on the table there is a, um, a small folded note. This is kind of like labelled Save Man. Must be for me. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> so you um, you pick up the piece of paper and kind of, I assume you unfold it and look at it. On the piece of paper, it's a um, it's a small letter and it reads, Dear Sayer Man, I regret to inform you that I can't remember the name of the person's voice actually. Um, no, that's just your voice. Just my voice, but Dear Sayer Man, I regret to inform you that I should be that's leaving. It's trunks. <laughs> 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 All these people are talking. Do you see that? I regret to inform. All these people are around his shoulders, can't looking at the piece of paper. Yeah. Get away from me. Private yeah. conversation. <laughs> Private reading, I suppose. Conversation with your notes. With your notes. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to this paper. It says, uh, "Dear same man, I regret to inform you that I shall be leaving for a while on a mission to find my people." The recent encounter. <laughs> yeah, show <sure> your find them. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> the recent encounter with my Namekian father, in quotes, has awakened a yearning within me to seek out other Nameks and find out if there are any surviving members of my species out there in the cosmos. However, I shan't be gone long and I hope to return soon once I've found my home. I've left the dragon radar and the two dragon dragon balls within your beard to help you on your quest. Oh, there it is. Signed, Namek Person. P.S. The bins go out on Monday. <laughs> P.P.S. I'm hoping you can read this. <laughs> P.P.P.S. We also have a read, house right? now with bins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I brought a house. We're house. in debt. Yeah. <laughs> Lol. Okay. So, so yeah. So, sounds like Namek Person is... Uh, oh, traitor. <laughs> Leaving me behind. <laughs> I'll never forget this. You hear me? Ah, oh, fair enough. Well, I suppose now no person's gone. I don't have to hold back anymore. <laughs> All this time. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stand up, take a look around this cafe one more time to see if there's anything interesting around it. I'm going to stare at a painter, stare straight into his eyes. He looks back up at you, but he's, like, he's just drinking like a coffee and he's got like a little newspaper. Uh, on the newspaper it's got, you know, City Saviour. Uh, <laughs> it's like the headline. And it's got a picture of you, Carl, like singing. Or my, my reputation precedes me. Yeah. <laughs> the patron's looking up at you and looking down. Are you the saviour of this city? Yes. Yes, I am the saviour oh. of this city. Can I, can I get, get your autograph? 
No, but you can oh. Oh. pay me money. <laughs> um, uh, I'll save this city. I, I think I yes, I'm, I'm entitled to a reward. Yeah, give, give us, us a um, give us a persuasion roll. The first. I've really bad charisma. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, that's a one. <laughs> really? Yep. <laughs> I say charisma of minus one, so it's what, so that's zero. A zero. <laughs> wow. So in a way, the first give the me first, all of your money right now. <laughs> the, well, the the patron guy, whatever kind of like, <laughs> you don't look like Jump. much or whatever. <laughs> Get, gets back to his car like you know, he's um, just reading a newspaper. He kind of flicks over and just goes to like the sports section. He's completely uninterested. In this, so. Well, this is how my day is going to start out. <laughs> Better fix this right now. <laughs> I'm going to point to the opposite end of the uh, cafe. Say, oh my god, what the hell is that over there? <laughs> As there's like an opposite, so open looks in that direction. Deception check? Uh, yeah, 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 give us a deception. Oh, for God's sake, I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> Which also, with your car, like, as your saying pride feet, it means uh, you've critically fail on a one or a two and also uh, a 19 so you're wrong with this dice so, <laughs> what is this dice <laughs> they're, they're, look, yeah. look, they're looking out the window pretty much and just trying to avert their gaze and just ignore you as if we're just some kind of like crazy uh, person or whatever and, uh, and no one's paying attention to you oh, uh, what's have to be my <laughs> power's from drained of... <laughs> from me <laughs> from the back of the um, kind of like towards like the kitchen you realise it's the um the chef of the Hairy Arms Cafe. Oh. His name is, and I'm going to let you come up with the name. Of this guy. Oh. Uh, I mean, if you can't think of anything, I'm just going to throw something out there. Uh, yeah. You, 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 you sure? I, I can't. I can't remember his name. Uh, hey, hey, it's the same man. Hey, hey, how you doing? Or everything? Hey, what are you doing? Of causing all this ruckus, you know, in my thing. You want some food? Hey. Uh, no, uh, no, no food today, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Michael? Oh, yeah, 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 my friends call me Mike, though, <laughs> yeah, so, and you, you say, like... man, you, you are my greatest friend, eh? Uh-huh. Uh, have I? I don't think I've ever paid for any of the meals I've had here. Ah, uh, you, you are... You are such a good friend. You don't. You don't need to pay for the meal. Oh. But the, all the all the stuff you've done for my little cafe, uh, or you know, no bad people coming here. Do you know why I say it, man? Because uh. of you. You. You are. You are my my guardian angel. You know, my protect. Uh. Why don't you just say that? Because, <laughs> <laughs> because you, you realised just a second ago before I had me yelling and pointing at the wall. Do you? Do, do, do you? Uh, you know what I was, I was about to do just then? Oh, d d enlighten me, enlighten me, my friend. Well, originally I was going to point out more to say, Oh my god, what's that over there? I was going to take out this sweet new axe I just got that sliced this guy's head off. <laughs> <laughs> However, oh, that plan failed, so my second plan was I'm just going to blow up this entire place to, to remove all witnesses that ever happened and start my day off afresh. So you're, you're, you're very lucky, Michael. <laughs> There's a, um, a slight pause and then it's. Oh, I'll say it, man! Oh, you're, you're a funny guy! Oh. <laughs> yeah, let, me, let, me, let me get you something. You, uh, you, you, seem, you seem hungry and it seems like you're about to, to head off. Uh, let, me, let me get you something for your, for your travels. And he kind of like turns towards like, the counter, picks up a, um, you know, a few car like uh, bits of car like cooked meat, like really nice bits of meat, like proper like, you know, a big slice of gammon that's had like honey car poured on it and like swept over it. it's like cooked it's like oh it's gone like proper like caramel oh it's delicious to it and all that and it's like goes over to another car like you know oh a table takes food away from other people yeah. as <laughs> hey and this the food is for the great to save you that's it man you get the f out <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry no sorry no 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 yeah he kind of wraps it into kind of like a um a bag or whatever and car goes ah yes and uh, on the bag, it's got like a picture of his face going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, Sam, man. Uh, just, uh, just, just for you, my greatest customer. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Could you give me a um, perception roll, actually? 14. There we go. Is that plus uh, anything? Oh, what's my... Uh, with a plus three perception, you've got uh, 17. 
So nice. you notice this weird red uh, dot going across him. Oh, wait a second. I think I, as I say, and I have a special trait for this kind of thing. <laughs> uh, danger sense is being able to sense danger and traps. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so for example, if you're standing in a room and suddenly loads of laser dots are usually come out of weapons, <laughs> I know because I've killed many a people with, with that, uh, danger that, sense. Danger sense. <laughs> that spider down, sense, Mike. pretty much. <laughs> if you want to um, give me a uh, dexterity saving throw, uh, but you have it with advantage due to your danger sense. So uh, roll it twice and give me the higher of the number. I rolled a uh, 19. Oh shit, yeah, that's a critical. Oh yeah, it's critical. So yeah. Um, I acrobatically jump and <laughs> spin in the air. Well, with we that way in the air, you just can't like... Don't worry Mike, it's happened to me hundreds of times before. I yeah. know what to do. <laughs> 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 just as soon as you do that, a rain of bullets, like a hellfire of bullets, literally just can't encase the Hairy Arms Cafe, shattering you know, the windows, the things that are like, you know, uh, glass bottles smashing into the like, walls above your head. Um, the guy that was originally reading the newspaper, ignoring who he's instantly car like, you know, penetrated by all these hundreds of car bullets and all that. And any car just like falls to the ground. I tried to warn you earlier, but no one wants to listen to crazy, <laughs> crazy man. Crazy man. <laughs> you say this is all these bullets are going to go above your head. Uh, Mike, you know what I said, or uh, well, you said, that I, I was the keep, keep a bad people away. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I might might also be a magnet as well. <laughs> I just need to check, uh, uh, Mike, do, do you happen to have any like you know, gambling debts with uh, the Mafia? Or... <laughs> uh, is, is there a slight chance it isn't doing anything to do with me? No. <laughs> I, I don't have any gambling debts. Give us a, an insight check just for the fun of it. 14. You get the feeling that Mike probably not, does not have... not entirely honest. <laughs> yeah, he probably does have some car white debts or whatever. Um, but you also get the feeling that they're probably simple. Yeah, it's would, more likely they they're after me than after a sure Yeah, few, <laughs> they would, they would see up his entire cafe uh, just for car like, you know, just for, just for him. It's I couldn't charge out and take him head on. The approach of the last time I took on a rain of fire head on, I always died to no <laughs> person. <laughs> yeah, it's probably best but, I um, try and be careful about this. Uh, Mike, is there like a secret back entrance to this? Uh, yeah, it's in the back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll try and make a way out to the back door. Actually, Mike, you should probably come as well because you'd like to be killed in a second if you stay here. Head off towards the back. Uh, give me another car like dexterity saving throw. I rolled a 20. Oh, <laughs> yeah. um, this time, just as you're running out, you hear kind of like a few car kind of bits of glass breaking and some like objects landing. Uh, then it's like, you know, a bit of quiet just as you're kind of running from the kitchen, and then the entire cafe being explodes. Uh, you know, but you've got you, you've got the twenty, so you're fine. So you're kind of running away as this car, kind of like no. She's... Are there any uh, are there any people still in the uh, the uh, uh, kitchen? Most people in the car are like, you know, probably either dead or they're hiding. Uh, dead's fine. Hiding's <laughs> also fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> look around and, yeah, you see a body of a, um, another car like chef, probably like a, an apprentice chef. Yeah, I'm going to gr uh, grab this uh, body. So you have to b bear with me for a second, Mike. I'm going <laughs> to grab this uh, body. I'm going to reach into my beard and pull out my old man's beard and just start like, <laughs> like sticking it onto his uh, onto his, uh, his chin. <laughs> what are you going to put? I know it's, 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 it looks weird and insane, but trust me, I, I've done this before. <laughs> Mike is staring at you. He's he's starting to kind of assess whether calling you a great hero and a saviour was the best thing to uh, to do. But he yeah, to just a bit, 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 a few few more seconds, Mike. I I know I know what to do. I guess I've attached the uh, old man's beard to this corpse of a, uh, a chef. Uh, I'm taking his uh, chef's head off and now I'm ripping the, the hair out of his head. <laughs> <laughs> You've got Mike is looking at you again. What are you doing to Jack? <laughs> Why are you ripping Jack's head off? Just, just, trust me, I'm, 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 no, I don't do it. Just trust me. <laughs> Pulled the hair out of his body. Now it's gonna like just like shove his uh, body uh, closer to where I've just been running from. Okay, I'm worried. Need to get out of here. Uh, okay, and you can't push aside the emergency exit car like the bar. Car rushes out into the car the alleyway. So, okay, Mike, 
Uh, you run down that way. In fact, actually, you should probably just run away, Mike, to be honest. <laughs> okay, okay, well, and he runs towards the, um, I'm guessing not towards the, um, the street. Don't, the don't run are. towards that, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, For oh, God's sake, Mike, oh. come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, and he kind of runs, he runs towards the back of the alleyway, which is, it's, it's blocked by, like, a wooden fence, so he's... He's having to climb it and kind of climb over it, whatever. And it's like... Okay, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna uh, turn around and try and, uh, I'm gonna f basically fly up into the roof of the uh, restaurant. Okay. Sort of, like, sneak my way up there to get a better look at my attackers. Do you want to give me a um, uh, a stealth roll then? That's a uh, nine. Yeah, plus plus two. So, so that'd so be uh, eleven. So you, you can't you get to the um, top of the roof. You look out, but uh, it looks like your attackers are soldiers. Yeah, you can pr you can probably currently see about five five soldiers. Two of them are kind of like weapons drawn, slowly walking towards the entrance of the uh, the cafe. The other car like three hiding behind car, you know, lamp posts and cars. Okay, it's gonna be soldiers are after me. But luckily, I've been I've been in this kind of situation many times before. I'm such a I'm such a genius, you see. <laughs> It might see like bound just a moment ago that I was pulling the hairs of a, of a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I was actually dis I was disguising him as me. So they'll sneak in there and find a body of a bearded man. And I go, oh, there he is. We got him. And then I'll surprise him and attack him. Just a matter of waiting now for them to find the body, lower their guard, and then I'll strike. So I was going to lay down on my back and just wait there for a bit. So um, you're like looking down there. Sorry, the three soldiers that are down there are kind of like still kind of looking around. You notice. One little cut dot appear on the concrete, just kind of like next to you, and then quickly kind of go straight towards your chest. Okay, that's not hard in time to get into battle. He's gonna sh before you do that, he's gonna shoot you. I'm afraid. Because oh, <laughs> you've been like sitting there, and he's spotted you. He rolled a 19 on his car kind of perception, pretty much. So, uh, 18. Uh, what's your armor class? Uh, 14. Oh yes, yeah. So he gets you. So um. You're sitting there, you just hear it's like, like, it's like, and then you take three bits of damage from this sniper bullet that kind of goes, <laughs> penetrates your car, like, shoulder, you're like, looking over, and you're like, oh, God. Oh, you're That's my that. gift of waiting. Just... Uh, okay, so, um, so at that point, you hear a few crackles of radio, target, 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 on the roof. Damn, it's <laughs> ruined my perfect surprise. <laughs> At this point, we're going to go into initiative. So if you give us a um, initiative roll, for you, you get plus two because um, it's on your sheet, so. Rolled an 18. Oh, so it's 20, okay. Well, well uh, tell me what you what you want to do now. You get an action, a bonus action, and uh, movement. Okay, I'm going to jump from the uh, the roof and try and land on the uh, the guard hide behind the car. So there's I'm two jump of them down and go, the car. Try and like, get a land on top. Crush him like I did the uh, bear. Oh, so you're gonna jump on top of him, okay? <laughs> <laughs> give me a, yeah, just give me a roll, and uh, the class this is like a kick, so plus six. Because uh, you, you can fly, 12. so 12 plus six, is that 18, isn't it? So yeah, you definitely definitely hit this guy. So give us a, a d4 plus four. Oh, four. <laughs> four plus four. Okay, that is enough to uh, <laughs> wipe this guy out. <laughs> So you kind of like look Surprise. up. <laughs> <laughs> so now you've got a bonus action, probably a bit more. Now I say you probably used up your movement by kind of jumping across. So you've got a bonus yeah. action. Yeah, I'm going to go into a rage while I'm standing here. Okay, it's okay like, then. I, so. I, like I've, just, I've just jumped into battle, killed a guy. It's like, rage now. Stick up the floor. <laughs> the guy next to you, his turn next. Kind of like looks at you wherever. Oh shit, wherever. And it just pulls out his car like machine gun and just tries to kind of shoot you a bit. Uh, that's a, um, a nine. Uh, oh no, so it's a six actually, which doesn't hit you. Um, so all the bullets, he, you know, fires wildly pretty much. Tries to run off. You can't run from me. <laughs> <laughs> I will say because he's kind of running away from you and you are within combat range, you do get a, um, an attack of opportunity on him. I'm gonna fire an energy, energy blast at his back. Oh, roll to five. Five plus uh, plus two to hit, so that's a seven, isn't it? Uh, that unfortunately that just misses him. Actually, they don't have particularly high AC or health, because they're just kind of normal people in a way. But 
Yeah, that's too low. So yeah, you can't fire it. It goes, and it can't goes goes over this colour shoulder, blows up the car, it's heading towards, goes up, and like, turns back to you pretty much. Now completely wide in the open. Now it's the uh, the guy that is kind of like standing there, looking directly at you. And uh, now that you're closer, uh, you can see in his face that um, he's got fury in his eyes. And he's kind of looking directly at you. Pulls out his weapon and uh, starts firing at you. But as he's firing at you, he's kind of walking towards you. And that is a natural one. And then his cut gun breaks pretty much and cut looks up. Into pieces. Like... Yeah, it's like, it's like, pulls out his pistol and it's just like walking right up to your face, pretty much with his gun out, right into you. This guy, he looks very, very angry, furious, in fact. So the, uh, the sniper, you still don't know whereabouts he is yet, but he's going to uh, go first and try and just go and shoot you. That's a 15, which I think that hits you. Uh, yes, your armor class is 14, so... <laughs> Yeah, the sniper is able to shoot you again. Um, he shoots you with one point of damage, but that's halved to zero. <laughs> no. It's this kind of rage not even noticing it. Yeah, you know, the... Uh, oh, don't fight me! The, uh, well, that's what the uh, the two kind of like soldiers in the uh, kind of like the cafe do. They kind of like run out wherever one of them kind of goes out and kind of sees you, tries to shoot you, doesn't doesn't shoot you at all because you're hidden behind a car pretty much. So like, oh. One them, the other one could kind of tries to kind of shoot you again, but yeah, it doesn't shoot anywhere near you. The bullets kind of just up the walls, pretty much. So yeah, it's uh, back to the uh, top of the round, which is back to you. I want to grab this car and uh, chuck it at the uh, people just come out the uh, uh, restaurant. Do it. This would just be a, um, a strength roll because uh, you're not proficient in throwing cars, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I raid rage though, so I get a bonus and strength. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you get advantage. Yeah, there you go. Oh, 19. Oh, 19 that's... plus 4. So, oh, and that's a critical anyway, pretty much. So, yeah, so you pick up the car. Didn't notice this beforehand, but it's actually, um, car was actually like a... Um, Filled with a bunch of orphans. Yeah, explosive orphans. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, perfect, explosive orc. <laughs> uh, uh, roll a d8 and then double it, and that'd be kind of like the amount of damage because it's a critical. Okay, so four. So, so eight damage. Eight. There's a massive explosion as the car filled with explosive orphans. All that lands in the, uh, the cafe, pretty much. Poor Mike's Hairy Arms Cafe. That it's there's it's just done for. His insurance bill is going to be. <laughs> well, it's going to be insane. And his gambling debts as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's. I mean, oh, maybe, uh, it's insur- yeah, I suppose maybe it's insurance, so he gets money back. Oh his- yeah, good point actually. Yeah, that's tr- maybe. Yeah, that's why you're doing him a favour, pretty much. Yeah, you're getting. I keep bad people away, and then yeah. help out with insurance fraud. Technically. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Both the soldiers uh, get the uh, the damage share between them. And their their car like their car wrecked with all this car like, explosion behind them. They're knocked to the ground pretty much, and they're like prone just on the ground, like going, oh. Uh, so yeah, that's your action. You still got some movement and uh, a bonus action. So what do you want to do? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run over to that guy who is trying to escape from me into that car, and then go into a frenzy. The captain guy that's car next to you, wherever, like, watches you go. Ah, you fucking da, da, da. He's really angry. I you. Oh. <laughs> Honestly. And he rolled a three, so all of his car like pistol See, bullets. swearing gets you. Yeah. Bad <laughs> aim. Like, oh. So yeah, you go up to this other guy and you pretty much go into like a frenzy. So you're proper, in a way, you're going slightly feral now. Feral at the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a rage frenzy. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> 